The largest salamander in the Americas lives right here in the Midwest, but because of pollution and habitat loss, the hellbender is endangered. But thanks to the Toledo Zoo and our conservation partners, we're giving the hellbender a helping hand. The Eastern Hellbender, also known as the Snot Otter because of its bizarre appearance, is a unique amphibian that thrives in fast-moving cold water streams and can grow to a length of two feet. The wrinkles of skin on their sides help the Hellbender breathe by absorbing dissolved oxygen, and their flat body shape allows them to move upstream against a strong current to hunt for their staple diet of fish and crustaceans. In the wild, the probability of a Hellbender making it all the way from an egg to an adult is less than 1%. But by using head starting techniques like captive rearing at the Toledo Zoo, we can bolster the hellbender population as we prepare them for reintroduction into the wild to create a viable population. Our biggest obstacle in this project and the hellbender's greatest threat is siltation. And siltation is when sand, mud, and soil wash into the water from farm fields, roads, and cliffs. This acts to smother the hellbender habitat by creating muddy river bottoms instead of rocky, clean ones. So surveys that we started in 2006 to 2009 showed that hellbenders in Ohio had declined by about 82%. And most of the populations in the state are on their way to extirpation. They're not going to survive, mainly because there's a lack of recruitment. We don't see young animals coming into the population. All we see are very large old animals. Um, so in order to reverse this decline and start the recovery of the hellbender, uh, we developed a conservation plan for the species in Ohio. And a big part of that conservation plan is collecting eggs from populations in Ohio, rearing them at our partner zoos like the Toledo Zoo in biosecure facilities to ensure that we don't transmit any exotic pathogens to them. And then once they're a size large enough where uh, they're, they're not very vulnerable to predation, we're um, putting a, a microchip inside of them, a pit tag, so that they're permanently identifiable, and we're releasing them into select areas that, that have good habitat uh, to try to bolster the populations back up. So this year, 2014, we're releasing animals into six different sites in uh, three watersheds. And the Toledo Zoo reared many of these animals. And uh, we've been out here today identifying uh, rocks where we can slide these little guys under, give them new homes. The, the sites where we're out releasing hellbenders are sites that we identified through habitat assessments where we looked at the stream and found the places that have very good rock concentrations, hellbenders live underneath rocks, and very low amounts of silt. It's been a, a great partnership, there's a lot of people involved, but probably most important is we have landowners. Um, Ohio is about 95% privately owned. If we didn't have the cooperation of private landowners, we could never recover the hellbender. plays an important role in its habitat and thanks to the Ohio Hellbender Partnership, this animal will continue to exist in this valuable freshwater ecosystem. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Hellbenders and remember by visiting the Toledo Zoo you're supporting this and other conservation programs like this. Thanks for watching.